Hello and welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. Thank you for joining me as we continue working on the F-150, which you see here over my shoulder. Of course, in the last episode, we got the interior all put back together. It looks great other than needing a really good deep clean. Of course, I've got a few mods for it as well, but the interior is all back together and now it is time to start building the front end of this truck. You guys remember Doug, he helped me on the Interceptor, he helped me on uh, the engine swap in that Toyota Camry we did a series on a little while back. Anyway, Doug is here today and he's gonna be helping me uh, to get the front end of this truck assembled as we get it ready to put back on the road. So let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna be working on and then we'll get started. All right, first things first, uh, what I was planning on starting with uh, is right here, this uh, solenoid, the top of the solenoid where this uh, this plug clips in, uh, is broken. And my plan was to go ahead and replace the solenoid. I've actually got the solenoid. It's part of the variable variable valve timing system. Uh, and to do that, you've got to pop the valve cover off. Problem is, some of my lower bolts are pretty rusty and the heads are not in great shape. So I am gonna have to get a different game plan for that. I don't know if I'll just hire that out or if I'll find some tools that'll help me with that. But in any case, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. For now, we've just got the plug sitting on there and it runs just fine. What we're gonna go ahead and work on is putting the front end of this truck back together, make it look like a truck again. So we're gonna go ahead and put you on a, tri a tripod and a time lapse and get started. That didn't take too long. Oh, thanks, Doug. You walked right into my video. <laughs> uh, so we've got uh, the upper bumper filler on there. Uh, the only thing left on that is it does bolt onto the top of the bumper once we get it on. Now, the bumper we've got over here is from my donor truck, and the donor truck was a two-wheel drive. So it has the cutouts for my tow hooks, but the black panel here on the bottom uh, does not. So I've got a replacement one of those. And then I've also got LED upgraded lights. So Doug's pulling those out. We're gonna slap those LEDs in there and uh, then we'll be ready to hang this bumper on the truck. So let's keep working. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this camera around and show you what we've gotten accomplished. It's been a mixed afternoon. We've gotten some things figured out, made some progress, had a few frustrations. So let me show you what we've accomplished and then I'll show you what I've got coming next here. All right, well, I've moved the truck inside because it's starting to rain a little bit outside. But as you can see, we've got the upper bumper, filler panel, whatever we're calling that, as well as the bumper installed. Uh, you saw us getting that uh, all set up because uh, the donor bumper came with uh, the filler, the, the little part at the bottom, the lip, whatever we're calling that, 
for a two-wheel drive, so it didn't have cutouts for the tow hooks, so I replaced that. Not wild about these uh, little black pads here in the front. They look pretty faded. Uh, I may be able to clean those up, make them look better. I may replace them, I'm not sure. And then as you can see, uh, I've also got the fog lights installed and we went ahead and wired those up and they do work. Um, but you may or may not be able to tell that it's hanging a little funny and we worked with it uh, a long time to get it as good as it is. The uh, panels in the back here that actually attach this bumper to the truck um, are tweaked and we worked with them and, and kind of beat on them and tried to get them back into shape and we made some progress, but it's still not perfect. So, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and order new ones. Uh, I may take it back to Jack, see if he has any thoughts on any way to uh, get it to sit better. But in any case, it's fine for now. It's on there and I will work on getting it straightened out later. Now, what I would like to finish accomplishing tonight is I'd like to get the headlights in and uh, the cowl panel all put back together, windshield wipers, all that stuff. Uh, and maybe if I'm feeling up to it, even put the grill on, which would more or less finish off the front end of the truck. At least it would look pretty complete. There's odds and ends still that need doing, but the, the front would basically look complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. We'll see what I'm able to accomplish. And uh, well, I'll check back with you soon. Would you look at that? <laughs> what a gorgeous headlight that is. Got a little pink film, so don't worry about that. Oh boy. Well, as I told you, the theme with this truck is OEM, but a little bit nicer. These are OEM Ford headlights, but they're from a higher spec truck than what I have. I uh, love how it has F-150 written in there. Boy, that looks nice. These are the projector headlights. I had just these old, there's the headlight that came out here. Just these old uh, basic headlights that most of these trucks came with. They work, but they're not super attractive and the headlights aren't that great. So what I did was I found a set on eBay. They were sold to me as used in good condition. I am not convinced these are used headlights. There's a little bit of scuffing, so maybe right there at the top, uh, maybe they're brand new, but they got damaged a little bit. I don't know what the deal is. In any case, I got a great deal. now. Because this truck has uh, had the standard headlights and these are the upgraded ones, the wiring's a little bit different. I've got the wiring hooked in for the, uh, the, the uh, clearance lights and the turn signals, uh, but to actually run the headlights, I'm going to have to use this uh, adapter kit from Morimoto. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably wire that up so that I can put these headlights in permanently and uh, actually get the headlight portion working working as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next, then we'll pop that second headlight in, and uh, then we'll take a look at it again. Would you look at that? They are working. They're actually working great. Everything fits great. That one's fully installed, still need to screw that one in. Man, this is a good looking truck. Now, again, they still have stickers on the front, so, uh, that changes the look a little bit there, but uh, the color temperature is pretty similar. May need to upgrade the HID bulbs to match the uh, LED fogs, but wow, that looks so good. Wow. All right, guys. Well, that's huge progress. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the cowl area and the wipers and put all that back together. And then uh, if I'm not wore out by then, I'll go ahead and also put the grill in. But man, I am so pleased with the way this has turned out. Let's keep working.
All right, guys, that is where we're gonna wrap this video up. The F-150 is looking so good. I got so much accomplished. Let me turn this around real quick, show you what we got accomplished, and then uh, I'll wrap it up and tell you what we've got coming next. All right, well, I guess the front end more or less speaks for itself here. We've got the bumper back on. Now, as I mentioned to you earlier, it does need a little tweaking, probably brackets replaced. Uh, but for now, it is on, and it looks a lot better, of course, with the bumper on, uh, even if it's a little bit saggy than it does with it off. Then got our headlights installed and wired up. So we've got uh, the nice HID factory headlights here. Uh, and then I've got uh, the nice replacement upgraded LED fog lights installed as well. We got our grill installed. We got our cowl put together and our windshield wipers back on. Anything else? That might be it. Basically, we put the front end together. And she is looking really good. Now, you may have seen me take this grill out of a box. That is a brand new Ford grill, and uh, I did have the correct grill on the donor truck. In fact, that's one of the reasons I bought the donor truck. So as much as possible, I bought a donor truck that would have all of the parts that I needed, or at least most of them, and that included things like the grill. Uh, but if any of you have ever taken a grill off of one of these trucks, you know that not only is it bolted on, but it's clipped on all the way across the front here, and it's near impossible to get that grill off without breaking all of those clips. I guess you could probably reinstall the grill with broken clips, uh, but it would never be quite as secure as it's supposed to be. And so I went ahead, bit the bullet, found a good deal on eBay on a brand new OEM Ford grill, and I went ahead and bit the bullet and replaced it, and man, she looks good. Nice, bright, shiny, and really looking good. All right, so what's next for the F-150? Well. I still have some things to button up here. I've got uh, some of the, uh, I don't know what you call them, air dams, you know, the vinyl things that Ford puts on there to keep the water out. Got some of those to install there in the front. Need to put the wheel well, there's my finger, there we go. The wheel well liners in. Um, let's see, I've got uh, replacement wheels. They're factory wheels. I'll show those to you uh, in an upcoming video. So I've got all those to do. And then I've got some upgrades as well. Some of those upgrades are performance related. Some of them are comfort related. Some of them are appearance related. So I've got several upgrades coming for the truck as well. Getting ready to take this truck on a long road trip, so I'm gonna have to give it, of course, a shakedown and make sure everything's working properly. But the truck is looking so much better. It's looking like itself again. In fact, in fact, it's even looking like a better version of itself than it did before. So thank you so much for staying with me for this episode. We got a lot accomplished. We had a few frustrations, but we fought our way through it and the truck is really looking nice. Stay tuned for another episode coming soon as we uh, finish buttoning this up and start putting on the upgrades, getting it cleaned up and ready for the road trip. I appreciate all of you joining me for this episode. If you haven't already subscribed, why don't you go ahead and take an opportunity and do that now. You can click the bell if you'd like and be notified when I upload new videos. And then, of course, if you haven't already, drop a like and share. Go ahead and drop down in the comments and tell me what you like about this project and what you'd like to see me do to it. As I wrap up this video, I also want to give a huge shout out to Jammer Rebuilders, uh, Rebuilds down in uh, Georgia. They are doing excellent work uh, rebuilding some F-150s as well. They've got a real nice, I think, a Lariat that they're working on right now. It's going to be a beautiful truck, and they are doing, guys, some seriously good work and the quality of their production their videos are awesome they're hilarious to watch i'm going to go ahead and drop a link to their channel down below i encourage you to follow that link check out their videos and go ahead and subscribe to them as well thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you joining me for this episode we'll see you in the next one